Here is a model of the ovary. Right over here, we have the suspensory ligament. This would then be the ovarian artery and vein. On this other end, we have the ovarian ligament that's attaching the ovary to the uterus. This connective tissue would be part of the mesovarium. You can see the blood vessels that are going to enter into the ovary would be entering in at this location, which would be the hilum of this organ. And you can see that this central region of the ovary is richly supplied by blood vessels. Then we have the outer part of the ovary being covered by an epithelium, which should be similar to the epithelium that covers other organs in the abdominal pelvic cavity. In other words, simple squamous epithelium is part of the visceral peritoneum. But if we look closer, we discover that it's different because the epithelium, rather than being simple squamous, as you would expect, is actually simple cuboidal. This epithelium is referred to as germinal epithelium. And it is called germinal epithelium because of a mistake. It was thought that the germ cells originate. The cells that become the oocytes originate from this epithelium. And that's the reason that this epithelium has been called germinal epithelium, but that is incorrect. Now, as we look inside this organ and describe the structures that we see here, some things need to be kept in mind. Number one, in an attempt to show the various structures, the model maker has taken a number of liberties with, for example, the scale of things. So this structure here, which should be compared to this structure here, much, much larger, is shown on a smaller scale in order to depict it alongside these other structures which should be smaller. So the relative scale of these various structures is distorted. So keep that in mind as we describe these structures. This, for example, this should be a cell that's much larger than the cell we're going to describe over here, but it happens to be much smaller in order to make it visible in this model. So we're going to start off by talking about the various stages that you're going to find of these cells within the ovaries.